and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a minute, more like a month. That's the right M word that we wanna use <laughs> when we're talking about how long I've been gone. But it's okay, I'm back. And I actually have a little series going for you all. Um, I'm going to be doing a two-part series um, of my wash day what I'm doing to my hair, exactly the type of techniques that I'm doing. And we're going to start the first part off with a comparison of pre-pooing versus deep conditioning. Most of the time, whenever I'm doing my hair, I'm always using my handy dandy, trusty Cantu deep treatment mask as my deep conditioner, always. But to, I noticed that a lot of people don't really talk about pre-pooing. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram a couple weeks ago, several weeks ago, <laughs> about what do natural girls use most of the time whenever they're doing their hair, whenever they're washing their hair. And most people said deep conditioner, but a lot of people I saw didn't talk about pre-pooing. And I'm trying to figure out why. So pre-pooing is all about making sure that you are protecting your hair while you're going through your washing day process. Pre-pooing, pre-shampooing, however you want to put it. Um, so pre-pooing or pre-shampooing um, is a protecting type of regimen, right? So normally what I do for my pre-poo, many people have different ways of pre-pooing what they like to use. Some people like to use coconut oil. Some people like to use mayonnaise. Me in particular, I like to use honey to protect my hair um, and my pre-poo, that's my main ingredient. And I also like to use aloe vera juice to moisturize my hair. Why am I putting those two together? Well, honey is very sticky as you all know. So whenever you're putting that on your hair shaft, you don't wanna put it on your root because that can cause another mess and that can cause your moisturizer not to penetrate your roots. But I use honey primarily because honey is protecting for my hair shaft and my hair ends. It keeps my the shaft of my hair very strong and it prevents split ends. So I'm going to be having split ends I mean, like, it's just the life of a natural, it's just the hair life. If you're telling me that you don't have any split ends, probably lying. If you say that you don't have any split ends, it's probably do. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm using honey to protect my hair, to keep it strong and to prevent split ends. Then I'm using alo aloe vera juice to moisturize my hair. Why? Um, why aloe vera? Well, aloe vera is actually really moisturizing and hydrating not only for the hair, but also for the skin, and most importantly, your body. Make sure that you're drinking your water. Also, yeah, just make sure that you're drinking your water all day, every day. Anyways, this is not a plug for water. <laughs> well, it is. This is wash it. Anyways, um, so normally what I do for my pre-poo, I add in honey and aloe vera juice into a mixture. And I'm going to show you all what that looks like here in a minute or how I do that. And then I also add oil to my hair. And what I do is I just take some oil and literally just put it on my hands and just put it over my hair. I add oil on my hair after I add in the pre-poo to make sure that it is all the product buildup, all of, you know, the little... Um, cotton balls from like my shirts and lint <laughs> that is stuck in my hair because if you are natural you know that lint gets stuck in your hair um, that oil kind of helps to drag it out when you put it under water so that's the reason why I like to use oil in my pre-poo um, it helps just as an added measure we're going to be doing a pre-poo on what is it I want to do pre-poo on the left side of my hair and then I'm going to be doing um, the deep conditioning on the right side of my hair. I've already filmed this video <laughs> but all of the footage got lost so I've already done this side for my pre-poo and this side for my deep conditioning so I'm going to switch it up 
so that way <laughs> my hair is all already kind of suffering so i'm doing like different things to it but um <laughs> i want to make sure that we're doing the same thing and then in my next video you're going to be seeing me doing a wash and go so i'm excited all right so here we have our ingredients for preparing our pre-poo we have the aloe vera juice and as you can see it has some pulp in it but we're gonna solve that in a minute then we have our honey so to take care of the pulp i'm going to be using an old wig cap and just a plastic bowl i want to reiterate that the wig cap is not broken there are no holes in that wig cap if there are holes in that wig cap it will defeat the purpose of doing this yes i know it is common knowledge but we are in 2020 what is common sense i don't know what it is so first i'm gonna put this wig cap right here on that plastic bowl spread it out a little bit then i'm gonna put some of the aloe vera juice in there i want more honey than i want aloe vera juice so i'm not gonna put that much in there I'm about to show y'all why this step is so important. You see all that pulp? If you do not do this with the aloe vera plant, even with avocados and just aloe vera juices you just saw, that would get all up in your hair and it will take you probably more than two washes to get all of those fibers out, okay? Beware. And I'm adding in that honey and it is going to mix seamlessly with the aloe vera juice I cannot wait for you all to see this. Now I am adding the mixture to the spray bottle, an empty spray bottle. Um, you don't need that much of this product. Also, make sure that you're cognizant about the spray part of the bottle because you don't want to get this on carpet or any areas that are not easy to clean because that honey and aloe vera juice together, ooh, very sticky. Here are the products that we're going to use to do this pre-shampoo. I got a white tooth comb to comb out my hair. I got two clips to clip up my hair in. And then I also have the pre-poo and a black shower cap, which you can get this in bulk at any beauty supply store when they open up. I don't, I don't know when. But I'm going to be combing out my entire head. And I'm also going to be using one clip for each side of my hair to hold it up. But I'm only applying the pre-poo to one side of my hair. Then we have our oil. Then we're going to get a t-shirt to use as a towel semi, and I'll show you how to use that later. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna part my hair into halves. I'm gonna tie up the left side. I know I said I was going to do deconditioning on the right side, but I changed my mind last minute. I just wanted to keep things consistent with my hair. I don't wanna switch up on it too much. And like you would add water to your hair from a spray bottle, that's how I'm going to apply this pre-poo. Then I'm taking that oil and putting it on my hair. I'm not doing it in any type of special way. Just putting it on how I would. So I'm gonna put that shower cap on and I'm gonna put this t-shirt on from the collar area so that way it can stop the mixture from streaming down my face. 
I let that pre-poo in for 20 minutes before I decided to rinse it out. I'm gonna detangle the other side of my head that I'm gonna use for deep conditioning because I wanna go from rinsing out the pre-poo straight into washing out the other side of my hair so I can make it go faster. This part of my hair was really hard to detangle. I always detangle from ends to roots, but I don't know why. So that's why it took me so long to detangle this part of my hair. To wash my hair, I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. Then I'm going to add in an extra hair clip because I already have three in my hair and I want to make sure that I have four for each part of my hair. When I took out the pre-poo, I noticed that my hair felt smooth, but not as smooth as it normally feels after I'm done doing my deep conditioning regimen, but that's neither here or there because this is before washing so that's one and number two I noticed that while I was washing my hair it took one to two uh, portions normal portions that I put into my hair to wash it in order to have the soap lather up in my hair which I'll show you here in a minute Y'all, I didn't even know that I hadn't pressed the film button until after I was done applying the conditioner. I'm so irritated. Anyways, I kept the force that my hair were already in and I just applied the conditioner to each part. I normally use a lot of conditioner, so like a good four quarters worth, so a dollar worth. I put a dollar worth, <laughs> get a dollar, dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I put a dollar worth of conditioner in my hair. I'm so corny. So now I'm going to pin up the right side of my hair that I put the pre-poo in. Next, I'm going to take my deep treatment mask by Cantu. Because, honey, you can too. All right. You can too. I know that y'all are old of that. But guess what? I'm not. And I'm going to keep on saying it. Anyways, I'm going to take that part of the left side of my hair i'm gonna put it into two and i'm gonna slap it on there slap that that mask on there and i'm gonna do the same thing that i did with the pre-poo put on the shower cap and shirt combo left it in for 20 minutes and then i'm gonna only rinse off my deep conditioner i am not going to add water to the right side of my hair again I just want to take a minute to thank the Lord for what he has done to my hair and what he is doing with Cantu and how they are blessing every each one of us who are using their products because I tell you. Okay, hey y'all. So I just had to start this again because I started this part of the video and I definitely did not hit record. <sighs> I'm annoyed. <laughs> it's annoying. Annoying. Anyways, so um, this part of the wash day, the washing part of the wash day is done. So, um, what are my thoughts about the pre poo versus the deep conditioning? Well, for one, um, I had to really feel up my curls a little bit, but this side feels a little bit harsher than this side. Um, I will say, yeah, it feels a lot better. Um, the pre-poo side does. Now, don't get it twisted. 
normally, I don't, if you all go and check out my last video about curl formers, my review of some bootleg curl formers. Um, but the last video that I did, um, when I deep conditioned and norm that, that and the method that I use then is normally what I do, is um, uh, whenever I deep condition my hair, I put the product in my hair in the fourths that I normally do, and then what I do is. I put them in braids while they're while the deep conditioning is settling in there and then after that um, instead of taking the the braids out and then rinsing out the deep conditioner I just rinse out the deep conditioner while my parts are still in braids and that is how I do my deep conditioning process I didn't do that this time because I wanted to keep um, this test controlled uh, since I was doing the pre uh, the pre shampoo with um, just 20 minutes putting it like tying it up and then rinsing it out um, and then I went into my wash I just decided to do the same thing for the deep conditioning put it in my hair leave it in for 20 minutes put it up pin it up and then rinse it out with them not being in braids so Definitely this like the deep conditioner didn't react how I normally use it, which is okay. Um, another thing like when it comes to doing like hair and like hair care and um, trying out different products or using different products, sometimes um, if the product isn't working, sometimes it doesn't have anything to do with the product itself. Like the products, like if you've like seen it numerous times on YouTube and everyone's loving it and it's working, it's blah, blah, blah. well, sometimes for different types of hair, um, you have to put the product on a different way. Like for instance, I'm about to show you all a product that I'm using um, in my next video of this wash day series, and um, I'm going to use it a different way than what is prescribed by the actual product. Um, or the brand creator um, so that's something to keep in mind um, whenever you're in just in your natural journey it's something to keep in mind um, so what I do what I do for my deep conditioning by Cantu I normally leave that in for a good like 30 45 minutes an hour don't 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 let me run errands <laughs> and don't let me run errands in between because I will I will leave it in mistakenly slash on purpose for three hours oh yeah oh yeah I love to deep conditioning I love to deep condition and then I'll still leave it in the braids and I'll rinse it out and let me have my curls together again watch my last video on my review of the curl formers J just look at it you'll be amazed anyways so I'm done with this review. Thank you all so much for watching. And yes, my hair, it doesn't, like my curls ain't, you know, popping and this on the third. That's okay, because if you watch the next video, then you will see that. So thank you all for watching this tutorial. And please, please, please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't and to like this video if you want to see me do more videos on hair care. And I'll see you on the next one.